What's good with y'all boys? You already know it's born dog coming catch you yet another video. Before we start this video, man, I appreciate you guys love and support. Listen, I got a moderate. Uh, I got a subscriber, man. He's been donating to the channel. Y'all see the option where it says, uh, I believe it says super thanks. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm going to check it real quick just to be sure why I'm in the video, man. Because I like to be, you know what I'm saying? I like to be sure. But I'm pretty sure it, uh, I'm pretty sure it says, yeah, it says, you know, basically thanks, you know, super thanks. So with that being said, man, shout out to you. He has been donating, donating and donating on my videos, man. And uh, I really do appreciate that, man. It helps out a lot, you know. So make sure this, I want to say this though, guys. If you want to donate to me, it's better to donate to my cash up, you know. But if you want to donate to the video as well, that's going to also help because, you know, it'll raise the RPM, all that good stuff. But what's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are having a great day. Make sure y'all like the video. Also, um, subscribe to my homie Sins World over there on his YouTube. He drops up fire game. Now, let's hop straight into this, man. I'm not even finna hold y'all long, because y'all be like, the video starts at 1 minute and 30 seconds. You know, be crying and all that good stuff. But what's good with y'all, man? Now, listen. I've been getting this same type of DM for the last two to three months, and it's starting to get on my nerves. I got to be real with y'all, man. It's just me being honest with y'all. It's just underdog being real. It's starting to get on my damn nerves, man. And I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all listen to people. And they have y'all following philosophy. They have y'all following their philosophy, you know. They turn, let me just go and tell y'all what I'm talking about because I know y'all gonna be like, man, what the hell are you talking about? Listen, let me read this DM to y'all. And I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate, but this is, you know what I'm saying? This is no offense to the homie, you know, it's all love, dog. But I got a DM. And he says, So I had a weird dream. Does it break my streak? Because I've only had two weird dreams in my life, including this one. But this time I didn't have a, a dream or don't remember if I had. I just woke up and felt wet. But the last time, which is two years ago, I remember having a wet dream and busting in my dream. But this time there was no dream and I didn't feel it in my sleep. Now, think about this, y'all. Y'all have been programmed on this retention stuff a little bit too strong. That's why I tell you, I'm the realest when it comes to this. I'm going to tell you what it is when it ain't. Y'all have been a little programmed with this. Y'all are so lost into looking at, oh, they're saying all these benefits happen on this long X amount of days. Oh, my goodness. If I have a wet dream, my streak is over. I'm going to die. I'm going to be done. Like, no, 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 no. Listen, understand something. God's design of the body. You can read in the Old Testament. He clearly says if you have a nocturnal emission. He clearly tells you if you have a nocturnal emission, you got to clean yourself off. You know what I'm saying? So nocturnal emissions are the design of God's body. You cannot stop a nocturnal emission. I thought, you know what I'm saying, that you can stop a wet dream, but you can't, you know? It's literally designed, God designed your body to release, you know? He designed it to release. Just to keep it all the way a buck with you. Why do you think you release in your sleep? Nocturnal emission, man. But I'm telling y'all this. Stop following philosophy. If you have a nice woman in your life, man, she is following God right along with you. She's following your lead. You can release with that woman. Establish a, con a covenant with her, you know? You need to be dealing with women who, who wants to be a part of your mission. Then it's okay to release with them because, of course, if they're part of your mission, they're going to follow you. And where are you following? You're following the most high God. So let me tell you all this, man. Stop following people. Stop listening to people who are telling you all this philosophy. Y'all don't understand something. When a person is steady telling y'all and got y'all mind, so like, oh, my goodness, I hope I'll release. I should release, man. I'm a bad I'm a really Bro. Stop listening to those people because they're gearing you into a new age spirituality type of line, man. You're going to walk that line of new age spirituality. And that's where demons, gateways, demons and all that type of stuff open up. You do not want to go into that rap because I'm telling y'all, when you are constantly this, you know, this concern about, you know, releasing, you are looking at this as a worship. Think it. Let me tell y'all something. Let me break this down to y'all. 
think about how this is. I'm, I'm going to read this message, what he sent to me. And this is just showing y'all that this stuff is turning into a philosophy because y'all listen to certain content creators and they got y'all thinking, you know, that this is an actual belief, that this is some entity that you have to answer to, you know, for sins or whatever. But think about this. So I had a red dream. Does it break my streak? Like, think about that, man. Break my streak? That's literally like me saying, if, if think about it, that's literally like me saying, oh my goodness. I did this wrong. I got to answer to God. You know, y'all are looking at semen retention as God. Y'all are looking at semen retention as literal God, the God, you know, and y'all have to stop looking at semen retention that way, man. Don't get me wrong. Semen retention has its benefits. It's great, man. It's beneficial for you. You know, have a balance with it in your life. Three months on, two months off, three months on again. Have a balance for it in your life. You don't have to sit here and follow philosophy and behind it. You don't have to sit here and treat semen retention as if it's God. Do not do that because your streak is going, you, you are going to, you know, have a nocturnal emission regardless. Because if you guys look up in scientific studies, nocturnal emissions, you know, wet dream. Let me call them wet dreams because y'all will be looking at me like I'm, I'm some damn Einstein or Bill Nye study saying nocturnal emission. But wet dreams are automatic. You know why? Because you're filled up. I didn't have plenty of wet dreams, man. You know, it didn't happen on my first street, which was five months. But I went on because y'all know I went five months on, one, one, out, one month out, and three months back on. So on this current street, three months, I realized I was having frequent wet dreams, man. You know, waking up with puddles. Waking up while it's happening. And so you have to understand something. Your body has to release that. That's why I say, that's why I made a video on reasons that you might, signs you might need to release because your body has to release it. It's too much. Now, don't get me wrong now, man. In some cases, the succubus will come in your dream and she'll be going crazy on you. She'll be going crazy crazy on you she be going so crazy to the point where she got you in a dream trying to do it with her and this thing you know you stroking her you getting you know what i'm saying and then you just boop all over the place you know what i'm saying but that can't happen now it, it can't happen but god has designed your body you gotta you got a meter just like when you pour up a cup you pour up a cup you pour up too much guess what's gonna happen the cup gonna run out it's gonna run it over what do you think it is when you retain so much energy? That's why I said seven months, in my opinion. Seven months because after I retained, I went five, then retained three more. And that's when I started to have, you know, I started to have wet dreams. And wet dreams are linked to what? High testosterone, high levels of testosterone, you know. So I'm telling you all this, man. This is going to automatically happen, you know. Stop worrying about breaking your streak. Just be giving out praise due to the most. So I stop following philosophy listen y'all i released that one month and bounced right back like it was nothing i was straight obviously there are going to be some differences you know if you release too much me personally if you have a girl in your life now release into the sites that's off limit it's off limit man it's off limits because i'm gonna tell y'all this right now i'm gonna tell y'all this right now release into the sites dog you are stunning yourself at meeting good women you are stunting yourself at opportunities to meet women you are making it easy for yourself you know when you make it easy for yourself to release you don't make it hard enough you don't make yourself uncomfortable enough to go out and actually get women because let's keep it all the way above we are men god made us to desire to want to procreate with a woman so every man unless you have the gift of celibacy unless you got the gift of celibacy every man you can say what you want to say you can say what you want to say you can say what you want to say. Oh, don't talk about women. Talk. Everything got to be about women. But let's keep it all the way a buck. Every man wants a woman. Women. You know what I'm saying? We don't worship women or anything like that, but we want women. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want women, then, you know, you might have to, you know, exit off this channel. But, you know, we want women. Let's keep it all the way a buck. All this self-improvement, doing everything, man. We want women. We want the best quality tier of women. And nothing is wrong with that. You know? Nothing is wrong with that. So, y'all yeah, gotta understand something. Releasing to the sites, 
you are going to stunt yourself from having that opportunity to better yourself to attract the women you want to attract you know so and think about this you looking at the sites it's a woman on there that you're finding attractive it's a woman dog so the ultimate goal is for us to have a woman you know what i'm saying so I'm telling y'all this. Stop looking at this stuff as a philosophy. If you are watching content creators, this is not me trying to throw content creators under the rug and none of that. But this is simply me telling y'all that do not place semen retention with God. I mean, do not place God with semen retention. Do not do that, you know? Do not do that. Because it can get very dangerous very quick. God does not play about that. You know, you look out all throughout the Bible. People in the Bible tended to try to you know, start to worship themselves, try to, you know, just make all type of crap, statues, Tower of Babel, all this crazy madness. And semen retention can become a crazy madness. People can start worshiping semen retention. It can happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell y'all, man, if I got a girl that just, we really connect, you know, we truly connect, then of course I'm going to release. And if y'all don't like that, y'all can unsubscribe, you know, just keep it all the way above with you. And if you rock with me, hey, much love. Love y'all boys. But if you don't rock with that, you can unsubscribe, dog. Straight up. Straight up. So I'm telling y'all that. Stop making this stuff a philosophy, dog. Stop. Stop. You got to understand the real when it comes to this, man. You got to understand the real, you know. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this topic. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.